Hi guys! How are you all doing? I hope everyone's doing really, really well. I guess this is kind of going to be part two of my Sky Zoo video frame information. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how to put pictures from your iPad. And I guess it would work the same from your iPhone because they're basically the same thing, just different sizes. And I'm going to show you how to put it from your iPad or your iPhone and kind of generally works the same with Android too. So I'm going to show you how to put these pictures onto your frame. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing you want to do is click on photos and I already brought up the album that I'm going to use in my photos. So the picture that I'm going to use is, let's see, I think I'm going to use this one. Isn't that cute? That was taken down Assateague, Maryland. Assateague Island, Maryland, where the horses are wild. And that baby was just a month old in this picture. Okay, so from here, there's a little box up here. It has an arrow in it. Okay, let me show you that closer. Okay, so here's that little box. The one that has a little arrow in it. You're going to click on that. Okay, so when you click on that, it's going to bring up these options and you can send it to messages or mail facebook instagram and if you get the sky zoo frame this is the app you're going to use and this is called frameo so we're going to hit frameo okay and then there's your picture and up here it's going to say select recipients and your name will be down under here i just have my name blocked out and then you're going to hit next and it says write a caption so if you want to write a caption, this is where you would want to do it. And I guess the caption, I haven't done any yet. So the caption, I'm sure, shows up with the picture on the frame. And then you hit Next. And this is where you want to crop it. Now, a lot of my pictures are vertical and horizontal. So when I have some, I have it actually standing ver <laughs> vertical, if I can talk. And... So I try to crop it so that my horizontal pictures will fit well enough that you see the main part. Like I just bought this for my photography. So I just wanted to be able to see my photography in this so that I don't have to keep going to my iPad to look at my pictures and things. And then you crop it here. So you try to get as much in that circle and try to crop it as much as you can if it's a, if it's a horizontal picture and it's going vertical. Now vertical is going to fit perfectly in here, okay? So this is where I want to put the mommy and the baby. And then when you finish cropping, you hit send photo. And up here you're going to see your photo has been sent. And it should have your name right here. Sometimes on my frame, it actually on here and on my frame, it actually shows the picture when it's sent. Or sometimes you just get that little message you just saw right there. Okay, so that's how you send a picture. And I'll show you the picture on the frame in just, just a few seconds. And then from there, I'm going to show you how to delete a picture. Okie dokie, here it is. So I want to show you that I purposely cropped this part out so that I could show you how to delete it. I mean, you can delete any picture you want, but I wanted to give this a purpose. And these browns are really brown, and they're not showing up brown on this screen. Showing really bright. So let me show you how to delete it. Okay, so deleting is actually pretty simple. Tap the screen and this box will come up. It has something that looks like a little tool, a clock. It says react, hide photo, gallery, fit frame, adjust photo. You want to go up here to the little tool, click on that, and we're going to come up to the screen. So let me show you what's on the screen. It says Manage photos, friends, because your friends can send you pictures from wherever they are and add this to your photo frame. Display, slideshow, Wi-Fi, notifications, backup and restore, help and about. Okay, from here we want to hit manage photos and then we want to hit delete photos. Then from here several of your photos are going to come up, but I have it blocked because my name is under each photo. But luckily, the one that I want to delete is at the top. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to delete. And by deleting, 
just want to hit the picture that we want to delete. And you see that little trash can that came up and it also turned the picture black and white. Okay, so from here we want to hit the little trash can up here. And down here, it's going to say delete selected photos and right under this piece of paper it'll say delete photos and you want to click on delete photos, which is in red, I believe. Yes, it's in red. So you want to hit click the click on delete selected photos. Once you hit that, you see that? That one went right away. So it's deleted. Okay? So all you want to do to get back to your screen is hit the back arrow. Hit the back arrow again. And you're back to your original screen. Well, not your screen with the ponies on it, but my pretty gorilla face. So what'd you think? Both are pretty easy. So I hope this video was helpful. And I want to thank you so much for watching. To my subscribers, I appreciate you guys so much. And if you're not yet a subscriber, I hope you will be. Thanks again for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. And by the way, this is a different one than the one we graced. I moved the baby over so much. I think I'm still going to move the baby over a little bit more. So I wanted to show you a few of the pictures that I've taken. And here's some dolphins. And there's tail fin. The dorsal fin of the second one and the third one you can see the whole head and face and let me show you another one this is how easy it is to scroll through these and these were while i was out on a boat in florida and this is one just starting to come up there it is and there it's coming up higher same one look at that I love dolphins, can you tell? And there it is. And there's an osprey and an eagle. So thanks again, you guys.